Hello there, the fabled Harpooner here, ready to enter another Jade Barrow in this Snowball Fight quest with the Gatlands Weapon Class and the upgrade to the Flamethrower as the weapon of choice. I've decided to give uh, Chacha the feline mask, see how that goes. I probably will regret it. There's a nice combination of having each Shakalaka with a feline type of feline mask. Anyway, Weapon Class to upgrade, or Weapon to upgrade, sorry. No, not Forge, upgrade. The weapon of joy is the frame thrower plus. Stats wise, we have the increase in raw damage, increase in sharpness, and increase in fire elemental damage. Nothing else to mention. Material wise, it does require mostly low rank actor parts, but it does require Volvidon carapace from the high rank hands. So until then, you can't really upgrade this weapon. Which uh, we already did a few runs ago. Anyway, let's upgrade the weapon. And of course I have the Rathian arm set, because of the fire boosting damage. I gemmed in artillery, artillery expert, so that's going to do a lot of uh, Ganlance damage with the ammo. There's women fire and I think normal ammo, if I'm not mistaken. Hello. Some sort of bonus. Now I do have Bombardier. The thing is, I'm not sure if there's a limit to how much you can the mixes of your armor skill and the feline food skill can boost the damage. I think I remember that in 4U there was a cap, so there was no purpose in having maximum of both. But I've gone for it anyway, and that's how I'm going. Actually, items. Yeah, do I have everything I need? And up we go. Let's go this way. Unlike last time when we started here, that went the wrong way. So we can immediately go after the Barath. Although, there's a rock with fusion oils there. And doesn't matter. Do this. Now, I am lacking guard boosting skills, so knockback is to be expected for most of the uh, his attacks. He turned right rather than left. And of course, Chess is already putting bombs. So I can't really get near it <laughs> when he has a large bomb like that. And there goes the bombs. <laughs> I'm starting to regret that mask, bringing that mask. It's just constantly bring out bombs. I need to win in fire, but I'm not sure when I can do so. I want to win in fire. It's a good time. Yeah. Blew away some of its body snow. Couldn't really do anything there. It's already attacking and couldn't really evade anyway. Nice evasion there. Rolling in the mud again. I think there was a shiny somewhere, but I can't see it. I can wait a bit longer for it, I suppose. Let's try to get underneath it, or just trip it and stop its attack. But only the game is, is great at blocking that double attack. Judge of course me to go backwards with that bombs. Oh, can we want to go for that tail if we can? I don't like that this upward swipe can easily hit the legs so you don't get to hit the tail. Stay away from that. 
See there? The first swing actually hits the leg, so it doesn't count as cutting damage for the tail, which is annoying. Is the... No, I don't think it is. I was thinking that the wind fire is ready, but it's... I don't think it is. You can see it open and it's still steaming, yeah. I might be wrong. What's he going to do? Oh, there's a shiny over there, might as well get it. Although, for the most part, it's just uh, green gears. And we get. Well, frozen glob, that's okay. Really? You're going to do that again? Can I? Yeah, can we win fire? And blew off some of the snow again. Well, it hasn't done any damage, so I guess I don't really need a heavy block level. Oh god. Nice trip. This is a good position to go for that tail. And for some reason I went through it. Even when tripped, it's, you hit the, one of the legs before you hit the tail. Oh, I tried to avoid that. Bombs everywhere. Well, Damage-wise, he might be doing a lot of damage. Well, thank you. From one of the baggies. I know we're living, so that doesn't really matter much. Actually, we should try to reach that tail while it's eating. Not the way I want to dodge, but... Okay. Didn't quite reach there in the end. Still no damage from its attacks, so. And since you don't really counter with this particular weapon, I guess I definitely need it. Come on, let's go for that tower. Oh, it's flinched, it's soon to be cut off. Get rid of a baggy. Oh no, it's to evade me. Oh, they do get mowed down by the charges of the Barrow. Or the Jade Barrow. Yeah, more bombs. I think that bomb actually blew up the snow on its head. Snow, ice, whichever you want to call it, actually. I do you like it? Greenish colour, that jade colour, the reason for it's not a name, of course. Okay, perhaps. Let's see if we can turn around and. Let's use up some stamina, but no damage goes through. And. Oops. Can turn around. Let's get rid of this one up if we feel. Before it tries to do something, no. escape me. Nice, I blocked that. Actually, blocked the bomb. That bloody Minara was really going for me. Okay, he's falling over. Let's go for the tail. It's a good position here, and we cut it off after the five-minute mark. Didn't recover to do a quick block after the stabby stabby. No poke. Wow, three head slams in a row. Yeah, it's gonna go for a turn around. It's pretty much a rear attack. It goes around you, then attacks you from behind. Okay, both Church and KM are gone. Need to sharpen. Oh, can I? Oh, barely! <laughs> barely dived in time. Oh, it's going to come from behind. Oh, 
Nice, we've got an explosion there to trip it. Yeah, now that we've fire that we've released. I'm trying to sometimes get rid of that banana, but it managed to do a fine pattern that really doesn't help that much. Well, oh, at least it gets killed by the attacks of the Barrow. Slow recovery time, every time you bounce. That's the only real issue with bouncing. In fact, if you could somehow reduce the recovery time on bouncing, it wouldn't be as bad. I guess that's part of the mechanic of the bounce. Can I block? Yeah, we go. Probably should have just blocked rather than reload these shells that just fired. That was an easy attack to block. A bit crazy here, close to the monster with the camera. Oh, it's going that way for some reason. Let's carve the tail. Well, I think the women fire is ready again. With the theory skill at its level, it's pretty much quick cooldown. So you can use it a lot more frequently and deal out more damage, I believe. Let's go for another weapon fire. Also another nice flinch. And you can just aim for any body part. Well, shot him to and cause him to move out. Okay, don't get that bomb so close to me. Don't bring it so close to me. I'm not going to go for a full killing release. Don't like to do so when I have only three rounds in the game. That's away from that bomb. Well, ten minute mark. Getting it slim, been pretty much a decent time so far. On par with other fire weapons. I'm guessing Chatter's bombs aren't that damaging in regards to its usual attacks, it's a fixed amount, so maybe once it's maxed out it's on uneven ground, the bombs and uh, some more attacks. Nice interrupt. Burn fire not ready yet, should be ready soon enough. And I think it just, yeah, it's ready. Oh no, I didn't get to break the barricade. Maybe the bombs did uh, extra damage. Oh no, maybe it was the women fire that did it. Anyway, question info. 38 minutes, 22 seconds remaining. Slightly past the 10 minute mark. It's okay, I suppose. Let's see, I can just gather the bugs from here. There's similar bugs from the secret area. There. We'll have to see how it goes with this mask. Was I okay with this weapon because I could block most of the bombs? Let's see the rewards. Oh, 
Oh, okay, in quantities, I suppose. Let's see, we've got more claws. That's okay. They're building up nicely. More claws here. There we go. Ridges, a scalp, and a glob. A couple of king bones. Don't need the jewels, don't need the husk bones. Yeah, can tell the rest of the items that are there. So, this has been the Fable Arbuna, hunting a Jade Baroth in the Snowball Fight quest with the Ganlance weapon class and the Flamethrower Plus as the weapon of choice. Well, actually, it did have its own affinity, plus 10%. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time, and good hunting.